Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Right, this is State versus Skyler Bennett, dockets number 435-2020 CR-1788 and 435-2021 CR-47. Uh, let's have all parties identify themselves, please, for the record, starting on my right with the state. Aye. Good morning, I'm Michael Taylor, I'm Prosecutor for the New Deal Police Department. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Counsel for Defendant Scott Bennett. Good morning. Scott Bennett. Attorney Stephen Carrolls. All right, good morning. So with that, Attorney Carrolls, are you, I don't know if I have an appearance from you in this matter, are you just... I doubt you. Um, usually I wasn't doing the same firm, he's sort of just... I'm just observing your office. Okay, all right, good enough. So with that, uh, are there any preliminary matters uh, we need to take up? Yes. Okay. Um, he wants to suppress the witnesses on how we affected that. Okay. Um, I'm asking that since my motion to continue was denied, that we allow another day so that my officer can get here and testify so we don't close the case today, but we schedule one more witness. It will only be 20, 30 minutes on a different day. And the defense would object to that, Mr. Schuyler's back here now. I'm trying to get this over. This case is very old, over a year. Um, this court date has been known about for many, many months. Um, so that'd be our position. Okay. What is the the? You guys can both be seated. Um, what is the the? reason that your witness is unavailable. All your motions said he's out of state. I assume that means it's military service. Which, why is he not available? He's in Europe, Your Honor. Okay, but um, for, for what? his real job. Um, he's a part-time officer. Okay, and so on that basis, I do deny that motion to schedule a separate day for him. If the state's burden is to proceed. Either you're ready on all, and I don't think that it's fair to piecemeal it. Um, if he was in military service, I find that different because he's serving the country and he doesn't have a choice. Um, but outside of that, we do think we need to proceed uh, with what we have. And if we're ready to go, then let's call your first witness. All right, Your Honor. Uh, the state would call Cynthia Beenstra. All right, and are there any other witnesses that are now in the courtroom uh, that need to be sequestered or no? Nope? Nope. Okay, all right. Well, you want to come up, ma'am? <coughs> Stand by the chair and raise your <coughs> right hand. Sorry. So our friend the testimony about the evidence proceeding will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing about the truth. Thanks, sir. Absolutely. <coughs> State your name, please, and spell your last name for the record. Cindy Feenstra, F E E N S T I A. And where do you live? How long have you lived there? Just about 25 years. And uh, your next door neighbor at 71 Hemlock Court, who's that? It's in news. And in December of last, oh, 2020, I believe. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, December 2020, uh, 728. Um, was there an incident at that area at that night about 7 o'clock? There was. What was that? There was, <coughs> well, <coughs> excuse me, I have bad allergies. The protesters had been coming regularly since around Thanksgiving. They had just been there the day before on Sunday. We had gotten word from neighbor that saw something on social media that they're planning to come back on Monday evening for a candlelight vigil. Um, so that's kind of what we were expecting. I remember it was around dinner time. I don't know if it was 6 or, or 6.30 or 5.30, but in that hour, it was dark. My kitchen window directly faces the country store path. It's a path that separates literally my property and the city news. Um, the dog I had just let out, he was barking hysterical. I opened the door um, and we saw a lot of uh, commotion on the path. There were no candles. There was no candlelight vigil that I saw. I believe they had headlamps on um, right in front of my kitchen window. So I called, I just said, I, I called dispatch and I believe our town hall was closed. I just said that they're here. It doesn't appear to be a candlelight vigil. They're on the path. They're arguing. I don't know who they're arguing with. They're oh, shouting, yes. brought my dog in. I turned off the lights because you can see directly into my, my house. It was dark. Um, that's kind of what I remember. All right. 
Was the um, noise that they were making disturbing? I mean, it was arguing, yeah, it was uncomfortable. We didn't know why they were there. We didn't know what their intentions were. We didn't know if they were armed or not armed. And literally, they were probably within 30 feet of, of my, my kitchen. Oh. And um, do you, were you able to recognize anyone, or it was just a group? A group. OK. Thank you. Nothing else. Cross-examination? Yes, thank you. <laughs> In 2018, FreeKeen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at LBRY.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.